Hi, good morning everybody. My name is Attorney Charles Zavala here from Zavala, Texas Law. We are an immigration, criminal defense, and business law firm located in Houston, Texas, but we can help you with immigration claims no matter where you are in the USA or maybe even abroad. Um, so normally what we do is we'll do videos about things in the news relating to immigration, criminal, business stuff, or question, answer questions that people will have. So if you like our videos, you can subscribe, you can thumbs up, you can share, do all that stuff. Or if you really have a question and would like to speak with me, an immigration lawyer, you can call this phone number that's on on the screen and we can schedule an appointment. Um, I would say there is a scammer who's been going around replying to the comments pretending to be me. It's not. If you want to talk with me, it's a phone number on the screen. That's the only phone number, okay? So aside from that, I have actually some news that some advancements is relating to immigration and relating to DACA or Dreamers, Deferred Action, all that stuff. I don't know if you heard it. So I'll give you a little bit of a background as to what's happened and now what just happened. So when Obama was president back in 2012, he did by an executive um, order, executive action, implemented this policy where they were going to allow people, children who came over at a very young age who have lived in the USA and went to school here, they were going to give them what's called a deferred status. It's not like a legal status as in they've been admitted to the country and they have DACA status. It's kind of like a, you know what, we're not going to deport you. We are where you're here. We're going to let you work here, go to school here, but do nothing more than that. So what's been happening is this, you know, what started off as a DACA status for little kids, those kids are now adults. So, and there really hasn't been much advancement. They, they want to know, hey, you know, so what's happening? You know, I've been here my entire life at any moment, you know, what's going on? So then that's when Trump came in and Trump and his administration, you know, they started doing a lot of difficult legal challenges to DACA. Um, they actually, at one point, they tried to expand DACA, not um Right before they tried to expand DACA to make it bigger, and then they kind of a federal judge cut that down due to some lawsuits by the states. So the question has been, look, what's going to happen with DACA? So let me see here, and I apologize because I'm looking at my screen. This happened end of August. So DHS, which is Department of Homeland Security, that's the government agency who's in charge of immigration and all that stuff. It goes Department of Homeland Security, then there's kind of other ones underneath, but DHS is a big one. So they issued a new regulation to protect people who have DACA. So ultimately what they're trying to do, the Biden administration's trying to do, is they're trying to put in some regulation that's going to protect these people who have DACA so they don't have to worry anymore or that perhaps maybe they'll be able to get some sort of other status down the way, which is good. You know, it's at least something, but there's a lot of advocates for DACA who are saying, look, this isn't enough, right? Because we need Congress to make it into law. Just because the president wants to do something or they have a policy or they have a regulation, you can have the next guy come over and just take it out. Right, that's, that's actually what happened here with DACA. So what a lot of advocates for pro-immigration are saying, look, we need to take this to Congress, we need to put it in a law and pass it through, right? So some of the things that they've been trying to pass through is they wanna give status to DACA, at least make DACA something permanent in the books, and then have a pathway to citizenship. So that means, you know, and Congress could decide what they do, but they would say, look, if you can comply with this, 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 you know, there could be an advancement. And that's ultimately what a lot of DACA recipients want right now, because they're just kind of stuck in a little limbo. They don't know what's going to happen, because if the DACA program goes away, they have to go to their home country, which they never knew because they came at such a young age. So that's what's going on with DACA. So, you know, it's a minor advancement, you know. So Biden is saying, look, let's put some regulation policy into play. But... That's going to be attacked by, uh, I don't want to say anti-immigration because that's not true, but that will be attacked by the other side. So what they're saying is look, to prevent that, we need to put it into laws with Congress, right? So I hope that is interesting. You know, I recently came out with another video about DACA about advanced parole. So if you have DACA, you need to check out that video about advanced parole because that's going to be a great benefit for you guys. And um, But yeah, if you need anything, feel free to give me a call. Phone number's on the screen. My name's Attorney Charles Zavala. Thank you and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.